Now that we've reviewed the contents of the template and customized our views, templates, and automations, it's time to run through a sample workflow to see how everything fits together. Let's walk through the workflow at a high level first. The workflow in this template will involve four processes. Intake, project setup, approval and assignment, and tracking and review. Intake is the process of identifying, evaluating, and prioritizing potential projects. The best practice for intake is to use a ClickUp form to generate new project submissions as tasks, and we've already done so. Project setup prioritization is the process of evaluating and updating project details. The best practice here is to use custom fields to capture the necessary information. Approval and assignment is the process of evaluating whether your team can take on a new project. The best practice here is to use team or workload view to evaluate the team's availability. Finally, management and review. Once the project has been assigned and kicked off, this is the process of tracking project completion. The best practice here is to use views. Now let's walk through the workflow in detail. We'll start with intake. As mentioned previously, intake is going to start with the form. Anyone with access to the form can submit it to create a new request. Let's go ahead and submit a form as an example. Update the appropriate fields and choose Submit. Feel free to pause the video here, submit the form, and then come back. Once the projects are submitted in the form, they will generate a task. We've also added an automation so that the task will have a comment attached informing the team or you as the individual and project owner of the new project. Let's take a look at the task and the comment. You can see that the task also is utilizing the task template that we set up earlier. That's due to that automation that we created. Now it is the responsibility of the process owner, project manager, or traffic manager to review and update the project details. To do this, you can review the task custom fields. So let's go ahead and review the fields together and make sure everything is correct and nothing is missing. So we can check channel, the primary marketing goal, the objective, the audience funnel, the target audience, and mockups. But because we have automations associated with the marketing task type, let's wait to update this field. Next, let's review our team's current workload. As mentioned previously, the best practice here is to use a team view or a workload view. If you don't have one already, let's go ahead and add a team view at the folder level. This is going to allow us to see across the entire team's work and evaluate if we have the resources necessary to take on a new project. If your team is working on multiple projects at the same time, you may wanna put this view at a higher level. So you could also put it at the space level to see across all of the different projects that your teams are currently working on. To add the view, all we need to do is go up to the plus view button and then choose teams or workload. In this case, let's go ahead and choose teams. Now that I've added the team view, I can see very clearly which team members have availability and which ones are busy. From here, it looks like Jake has additional bandwidth. And so I'd feel comfortable assigning this project to Jake. Next, let's move on to project approval and assignment. Once the project and resources have been evaluated, it's time to assign the work and move it to the appropriate team. First, let's update the assignee field. As mentioned previously, we saw that Jake has bandwidth. So let's go ahead and assign this to Jake. Next, we can go ahead and update priority and or due date fields. Finally, we can update the marketing task type. Just remember, once I update this marketing task type, it's going to move this task to the appropriate list where the team should be delivering on campaigns and promotions. Finally, let's go through the process of management and tracking and review. Now that projects have been assigned and people are actually delivering on their work, we can use different views to track the progress of the work. Let's start by going to the campaigns list. From here, you can see that there are six pinned views. All campaigns, board, running campaigns, channels, Gantt, and calendar. 
For the sake of timing, let's only review the all campaigns list view, running campaigns list view, and the Gantt chart. First, let's check out all campaigns. All campaigns is a list view, so we're looking at our tasks in the form of a list. And here we can see across all of the campaigns, including those that are running and those that are in review. Next, let's move on to our running campaigns. Running campaigns is also a list view, so we're going to be looking at our tasks in the form of a list. Here, you can see that the filters are used so that we can only see the campaigns that are currently running. You'll notice that in this view, we're actually incorporating some different custom fields to assist in tracking the success of the campaigns. So let's review these fields together. The two fields are budget remaining and conversion rate. Previously, we created the formula field so that we could calculate the budget remaining on a campaign. Now we can see this field is helping us to understand the current budget within this campaign and how that also may relate to clicks and conversion. In the conversion rate, we're calculating clicks versus conversion. We can update the conversion rate slide bar to better visualize our results. Now let's move on to the Gantt chart. Here we can see across all of our current campaigns in a Gantt view, which incorporates a timeline and any of the subtasks, dependencies, or milestones that we want to visualize. Just be aware if you want to use things like dependencies and milestones, you do need to activate them in the Click Apps. Gantt View is a great way to quickly visualize operationally where each campaign project stands in terms of its completion. So that's everything that I wanted to cover today with regard to this campaign and promotion template. Keep in mind, we didn't cover everything in the template, but we tried to give you a high level understanding of how the template functions and walk through the workflow together so that you feel more confident in actually making use of this template. Check out our other use case based videos to help you hit the ground running in ClickUp University. And don't forget to provide feedback on this video. Thanks for watching.